So, and, and of course, at this point, if, if it was a little laminitic and it rotated back some, it might help. Not to say that I was thinking any short horse should go into laminitis. So is this the best but, case of a worst case scenario without the laminitis, you know, flexing in there? I don't think that's the best case of anything. Okay. <laughs> but we're trying to figure out how to get this, this, this old timer happy. And uh, it's not happy right now. But the, the fact that I can't get any flexion in the joint in my hand, and it's not like the joint is calcified. It's, it's not like everything's calcified in you know, you don't see any like big ring bone stuff or anything like that freezing the joint up. So the tendons and ligaments are are locked up or or whatever it may be. On that side, you you have a little more movement. Now you said this happened overnight. Well, the the, <laughs> the, the, the first message that I got sounded like it wasn't like this a couple months ago, kind of deal. You know, and I'm like. Yeah, this didn't exactly happen overnight. It well, what they meant was I didn't notice this a couple months ago. Right. And prior to that, I didn't even pay attention and to I this. Can't, I can't say much because I walked in on what I walked in on. Right. I've never seen the horse but the one time. Now, a few months ago, did we have some flexion in that coffin joint? Maybe.